everyone, welcome back. Congratulations, you made it to challenge number three. Are you ready? Please like and comment below if you are. Let's get started. We are going to be working our abs. Today, we are going to be doing, starting off with standing abs, then trunk twists, and then uh, crunches, okay? And all of those are gonna be standing up. How are we gonna do that, Coach T? I'll show you. First exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna start off in this position. Reaching high, pulling those abs up, and our leg is leaning back this way, opening up those hip flexors, and we're just going to crunch it up this way and touch our toe, okay? That is a standing ab. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's your first exercise. Your sex, second exercise are trunk twists, okay? You can get down, open your legs up, more than hip width apart. We're gonna get down into a small little squat and we're gonna have our hands in front of us. Actually, let's have our elbows up like this so we can reach our elbows behind us. Ready? And we are going to also um, keep our hips as, as uh, steady as possible, okay? And only move your upper trunk. One, two, three. we are going to do crunches okay so we're gonna alternate our elbow to knee okay like this and crunch that body in here ready one two three four five six seven eight nine Crunch, 10, and 10. Congratulations, you made it through the first round. Let's get some water. We're gonna drink water. Remember, water is very important to drink throughout the day. I usually drink about two of these. These are about 40, 40 ounces each. The reason why I drink out of, out of this every day is so that I can measure how much water I'm, I'm intaking. This forces me to. I know that I need at least two of these, sometimes even three. The rule is to drink an ounce per body weight that you have. So I'm not 80 pounds, but what I do is I'll drink two of these and then throughout the day I'll have, I'll have some water or I'll have some tea or sometimes even the, the fruit and vegetables that you eat have water in them. So I get enough. You can also drink too much water. So the goal is to try to drink as much, many ounces as you, as you weigh, okay? That's your tip of the day. Second round now, congratulations. We are going to do a combo hip flexor exercise. So we're gonna start off with the standing ab and then open up that hip flexor. Standing ab, hip flexor, okay? I'll show you this way. Standing ab, hip flexor, okay? So that's all we're doing right now is we are opening up those hip flexors. We're working that, that muscle too, and we're working our core, our, our abs right here, because we're crunching it. Ready, let's go. One, open. around and so you can see the different angles just in case you're not quite getting a certain view okay all right so now you finish this right we're gonna hop over to the other leg ready one open two open three 
All right, we're done with our first exercise, second round. Our second exercise, I'm gonna grab weights and we're gonna do a tick and then a toss. I only need one weight, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the one that I'm not using on my hip. Okay, open your legs about hip width apart and all we're gonna do is shave our legs going down. That's a tick and come up really bad. Okay, let's go. One, and it's all side business. We're not going forward. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, now the talk. The other leg. Ready? One. Two. That was my nails going into my... Four. your tick and your talk. The third exercise of the second round are going to be jumping crunches. So let's put our weights down so we don't hurt ourselves <laughs> and all we're going to do is remember those altern alternating crunches. You can still do those if you want or you can jump with me. Ready? Go! One, two, crunch it. Three, with the second round. Congratulations. It is break time. 60 seconds. All right, let me take a, a water break. So, it's important that you know what your heart rate is. You've used these two fingers right here. Not your, your thumb has a pulse in it, so you don't want to use your thumb, but you want to use these two fingers and go right here up, up underneath the, the bone, and you should be able to feel the pulsating of your pulse the beating of your pulse, okay? And you count each beat. You're quiet, okay? You're not talking like I am. You're standing there, calm and counting. And if you count for 15 seconds, then you multiply by four, and then you get your, your, uh, your, your pulse um, per minute. And then talk to your doctor about what it's supposed to be at, okay? All right. Are you ready for our challenge number three? Let's go ahead and do the combo that I just showed you, plus a jab, jab, jump, okay? Or jump, jab, jab, whichever one you want to do. I'm very uncoordinated, so sometimes I might go jab, jab, jump, or I might go jab, jab, jump, or I might go jump, jab, jab. Just do the JJs, okay? Um, Mary might like that. JJ's get it <laughs> anyway. All right, so we're gonna do, remember the standing abs, you can do those. You can do the standing abs with a hip flexor or you can do the standing ab hip flexor with the jab, jab, jump with me, okay? Let's go. Okay, one, open, jab, jab. of the third round. Getting close. Ready to do those TikToks? All right, grab your weights. All right, how you do these TikToks is 
to have your feet open more than hip width apart. Get down into a slight squat. Put your weights to the side of you like this, behind you kind of, and just start going. So these weights are behind my leg. Okay, let's go. One, and your, your hips are cemented down in the ground. They're not moving. You're only moving the top trunk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the weights are just hanging. Nine, you're not doing anything with your shoulders. 10 and 10. All right, woohoo, congratulations, you finished. You, you have completed the third challenge. How do you feel? I hope you feel those abs, those obliques in here. Let me tell you that there are different muscles in here that you have to really work in order to get everything looking good and tightened up. So we, we didn't just work our rectus abdominis right here, which are our abs. We worked our transverse abdominis, which is like our corset that goes around. You know how in the old days, how, how women wore a corset to bring their, their body up and tight and everything. So you have a transverse abdominis, which is your, which is your, um, your deeper layer of, of muscle. And then you have your external obliques and your internal obliques, okay? And that's all right here. So you need to work it all in order for this to look good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, please like and comment. I read your comments. I do. I, I promise you I do. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe so that you can get the notifications as to when I go live and when you can do these exercises with me. Don't forget to cool down. And the cool down is more of a static cool down, okay? So, you know, m maybe someday I'll do a short video for you to show you how to warm up and cool down. But you want to concentrate on the muscles that you just worked um, every time you warm up. And you want to concentrate on those muscles every time you cool down. So have a blessed day and I'll see you soon. See you tomorrow.